Hey guys, Waller D here. We're back for more Mega Man X, of course. It's usually a sign. If you guys can't remember the select screen, there's a problem. Unless you haven't forgotten the super. Yes, alright, and also I should probably detail some things. If you mess around with this screen, you get some nice uh, details that you wouldn't particularly notice. It'll show it like these show the location of certain stages. Apparently the electric plant was right next to Storm Eagle's place, so no wonder it fucking made that crash landing. And this stage is quite a distance away from Flame Mammoth, so that doesn't really make sense. But this stage is pretty close to Sting Chameleon stage, so let's say this. That uh, happened that you beat the Launch Octopus' stage, apparently it might have caused some changes in this stage, which we're going to right now. Alright, so let's, uh, see what happened. You got Team Chameleon, his, uh... Oh, it looks a little confused. Oh, looks a little hungry, too. Well, too bad I don't have any bugs. <coughs> okay, so, once we get start this stage out... Okay, so we got some homing missiles. They're clearly... Oh, fuck that! Stupid lumberjack. Yeah, you like all that up your ass? Okay. Okay, so watch out for the Mr. Plum. Fuck you, don't even laugh at me, you little dick. Oh, wow, I hate these guys. As you can see, uh, there's some water here and there. And we'll need this water for good damn reason, because... Well, um, we gotta get from one point to another. And this is the only way we're gonna get there. See what I mean? You think Mega Man's gonna make that jump without that water on there? Alright, so you just make it, you just press A and B to get back. Otherwise, you are not making it back. So, just seeing my mouse go across the damn screen like a piece of shit. Okay, and guess what we gotta fight, guys? You gotta fight a mini boss, and this guy's one of the most annoying pieces of shit on the face of the earth. Reason being, this guy is just a long, hard, and tedious fight, just like frickin' Armored Armadillo. And somehow I jumped on his claw like an idiot. So to make this fight a little bit quicker, do this. Okay, not that. And certainly not that. You don't want to aim the tornado as claws. Otherwise, you're not going to do much damage. That's a problem. You can't... Ow, come on. I did not get hit. Okay, I did not hit aim in the wrong direction either. Damn it! Okay, you can start dying now, thank you. Yeah, fuck. Okay, this is getting old. Wow, that did not do a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, wow, this guy does not like fire, apparently. Let's keep burning his ass up after he slams me into the wall for the fifth time. Okay, do your stuff. Yeah, come on. Oh, come on, die for me, please. Yeah, come on. Alright. Oh, wow, you could take that still. Yeah, so this is what this guy pretty much does. Swings his claws around like a little dude. And he just becomes a fucking moving target for the next hour and a half for how long it takes you to beat him. I would hate to see someone try to beat this butt guy just using pea shots. It'd probably be like a five minute video, maybe longer. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce the damage to your systems by 50%. Why don't you just say by half? Okay, so Dr. Light's got some nice new threads for me, don't, doesn't he? Let's see what I get. Holy shit, that kind of looks pretty cool. Wow, Mega Man's looking pretty stylish now. We've got the blue and white going here with a little bit gold. Alright, so this should help me take more damage. Apparently it made me a little bit more heavier. Alright, so we got this. Looks that guy's a little bit too slow on the draw. There. Okay, that was some serious lag. Alright. So apparently, uh... I think if you beat this, if you beat a certain stage before this one, uh, rocks somehow, or is there some rocks that fall down here? In this case, I may have beaten that stage that caused that to happen, so 
Make that part easier. Of course, you got the frickin' water at the beginning for a good reason. The bird somehow is spitting up uh, bugs and fucking net or not it, it, damn it, but looks like we got some guys doing some camouflage. And here's the easiest one up ever. It's just right there for the picking. There's no drawback of getting it, so you might as well pick it up. Alright, so we're doing Fuck you. And don't laugh at me, you little dick. Alright, so we're filling these guys in the grasshopper. Getting hit by that fucking robot that flies and laughs. Fucking worse than Paul holds the time. Alright. Okay, so you wanna head up. Okay, I'm seriously sick of that guy. Okay, so get over here, find another fucker. Okay, you can stop hitting me now. If it. I could demonstrate what happens if he. that robot suit of armor gets hit too much, but. I honestly don't want to. Okay, actually, I think the weakness I have is not the one that, for this boss. It's boomerang, it's Boomer's weak, or... The Boomerang color is this guy's weakness. I don't have that. But you guys probably get the idea why it might be his weakness. Because, uh, yeah, Because he's a chameleon, and you know how hunters, uh, you know, hunt things. So this the problem with this guy, this guy's a pretty lengthy yeah, fight, and he's kind of annoying because he likes to phase in and out like a little bastard, and he has these evil attacks that take up some time. So it's just going to be a lengthy fight, but it's by no means totally annoying. Damn it! I'm not doing a good job not getting hit apparently. Oh, little bastard. And there's his somewhat worse attack, because it's, it's kind of hard to dodge, but granted, you're not going to get take too much damage from it. Ah, damn it, missed. Alright. Yeah, problem with that attack is you can't really have an open shot. Because that kind of happens, so just stay on the ground when he does that attack. Probably gonna move closer. So move up here. All right, come on, come on, come on, get your ass out of your little phase. Come on, ah, damn it. Okay. Move over here. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I'd say the tongue is the most damaging attack. And of course, it's not smart to jump in the spikes on the ceiling. Not sure why you would do that. Yeah, trick you, fucker. Alright, so dead robot, I'm happy. Mega Man's just staring at a wall. Okay, so boss beaten. Oh yeah, I also forgot to comment on the homie torpedoes last night, did I? Well what's there to comment on? It's a homie torpedo. But it's a pretty good weapon. Not the most useful weapon. Who the hell cares? This one is cheap. If you have the charged up flat version of this, it's the cheapest one. Basically, it makes you invincible for a certain amount of time. Uh, the normal one's pretty standard. It's not one you're going to use too much, but it's it's got its uses. Alright, this is the last stage we have to do, guys. And this one has the best music out of all these guys, in my opinion. Alright, so let's take this guy on. He's probably gonna get like two seconds in this stage and I'm like, whoop, we gotta go, guys. That's exactly what's gonna happen, I'm sorry to say. Okay, Boomerang Kawaiing, er. Wow, that's kinda interesting, but. Cool name, cool stage, it's a tower. Yep, lots of climbing, but lots of good music to go with it. Okay, trick this guy, shoot him in the head. Trick that thing, shoot it in the cannon. Okay. Come on, come on. What's up, guys? Yeah, you're not gonna shoot me. Okay, here's this fun part here. You gotta play dodge the lasers. Oh, shit. These guys like to screw you over. 
Okay. And if you... Oh, shit. Fuck. And that's what happens if you don't dodge a laser. Granted, it's not much of a problem. Ah, oh, damn it. Considering how little damage it does, but... It's still annoying. Okay, kill that guy. Ah, damn it. Fucking didn't think the explosion would hit me like that. Oh, well. Oh, my fuck, man. I'm having trouble not uh, moving out of the way in time. Oh, well. And we are running out of time. So, uh, next time, guys, we're going to take this nice, nice uh, looking elevator up the tower, and then we're going to try not to die. So, thanks for watching. As always, have a great day, and adios.